Hey everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I've been gone for a while, probably for about a month. Uh, I've been busy uh, going on vacations. Anyway, let's get back to the what's in my handbag. And um, as I've mentioned, it's what's in my Louis Vuitton monogram Noé. I'll go ahead and show you. And um, I did do a video, an unboxing of this. This is a pre-loved. She is a gorgeous bag, great condition, about 20 years old. So I'm just going to show you uh, what I have in the bag. Let me. Wow, I've been rambling for about over seven minutes. It's crazy. Um, I d don't know if I did an update. I think I did do a, well, I did do an update about, you know, the fact that I was going to keep the bag um, after I did the unboxing video because I know a lot of you uh, were not sure if I was going to keep her. But I did, of course, decide to keep her because she's a gorgeous bag. Um, but I did mention that I was going to be ordering um, Love in My Bags to... Not so much treater, but to uh, clean the bag. And I did do that, so she looks even better than she did when it arrived to me. Um, I did end up, uh, you know, cleaning the bag and also conditioning it and um, uh, putting the protector protectant on it. The reason why I decided to put, to put the protectant on it is because she's, to me, has already reached, to me, has already reached its full patina. And the reason why I say that is because it's a 20 year old bag. And so um, I think the color is gorgeous. It's a beautiful color and I don't want it to get darker. And I, But my main thing is not about the, the darkness, the patina, it's mainly about um, this, you know, getting it soiled, um, it getting any stains or anything like that. Now I don't have to worry about water damage or anything. Uh, as you can see, she's a gorgeous bag. She has no water damage, no, no water spots or anything. Like I said, it's a beautiful, even patina. And so I'm happy with that. Um, I also, you know, told y'all that I did do the knot here, um, which has helped a lot with getting in and out of the bag quickly. So um, that's one thing that I've enjoyed too. So I just pretty much pull this and then open the bag. And I really don't tighten the bag. Um, I guess I can... Uh, open the bag a little, a little bit more and hopefully you'll be able to see all the items in there but as you can see that's how I have the bag organized and you can fit a lot more in this bag so I don't have as much as you can possibly fit on the bag but I love how this is not, not just it's slouchy but it does keep its structure because of the vachetta on the sides and then the hard um, base here. And it is um, a hard base at the bottom, which I'm happy with because um, I didn't want it, I don't want it to lose its shape or anything, so which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in the bag and show you what I have inside or what I keep inside the bag. And all this stuff you'll you'll notice, you know it's some it's mostly a lot of the stuff that I carry in my other handbags um this size so this is my Vera Bradley envelope um and it does have Vera Bradley on there um I like this because it's magnetized and it's black so it's not that known Vera Bradley uh pattern and inside I usually keep receipts and some of the big coupons that I have in here and there are probably, and I cleaned this out already, and but there's probably more coupons in here that have already expired because I always forget that I have coupons, which is pretty, pretty sad. But nonetheless, that's, that, that's another story. I also have my Chanel sunglasses, and these are my latest um, Chanel purchase. These are the polarized ones and the brown, the tortoise shell, as you can see here. Um, these are the ones that do have the silver cc's and the bows on the side which i absolutely love them so i have kept those in here i and i have yet to use my louis vuitton um sunglass pouch which i need to get that from upstairs <clears throat> okay another thing i have in here is my emily wallet 
which looks like this, and this is in the fuchsia color, as you can see from the side. I do currently have her stuffed. Um, so yeah, you can't see anything, but there's I have four credit cards here. Um, I don't have anything in the zipper pocket, but it is full here, um, there, and there's nothing, no cash in the back. It's all gone. <laughs> uh, but you can see the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fuchsia color there. And I absolutely love this wallet. I'm starting to get more and more into the monogram, um, you know, canvas because before I, d I tried to stay away from it because I really didn't care for it as much. And I like the Damier Aben. But I'm really starting to love the monogram a lot more. I also have my um, Damier Aben uh, pochette, uh, accessoire, you know, pochette accessories. Monogram toiletry pouch in number, what number is this? Number 19, because it's not the smallest one. The smallest one is the 15, but this is the uh, 19 version, which I love the size. I think it's a perfect size. And this one says Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in France. And what I keep in here is uh, just some makeup items. Just a Chanel Compact, uh, my Lip Fusion Gloss, I keep some hand cream, um, a MAC blush, and just like mascara and perfume samples and another lip gloss in here is what I keep. It's not full. I could definitely fit a lot more, but I like because of the height and the width. To me, it's perfect, and it fits a lot more than the um, original, you know, uh, cosmetic pouches. Okay, I only have two more items, actually three more items in my bag, and then it's empty. So you can see it's just one hole. And this bag fits a lot, so I love it. I love the shape, the size, everything. Okay, another thing I keep in there is my Louis Vuitton um, round coin purse. And currently I am using this for loose change um, because uh, I took this on a, um, my vac on a, the trip with me and this was very convenient to store my coins. Also keep the Damier Aben um, key pouch thingy or key clay thing or not a key clay but it's the key holder. This is the six ring key holder. I just have like my house keys, my, my parents house keys. I don't have my car key in here because currently my husband is using my car. So yeah. Don't have that in there. And then last but not least is my Louis Vuitton Multi Carte. And this is in the color um, Grenade. I love this thing. It is very convenient and it holds my cards. So as you can see, um, it holds, I've doubled them up pretty much. And so it holds my insurance cards and just, you know, my other uh, credit cards, gift cards, things like that, which I absolutely love. This is so cute and it's a great, great price point and it's, you know, very convenient to have. So I love that. So that is it. That is all that is in my, um, Louis Vuitton monogram Noe and it is empty. This is a gorgeous bag. I love using this bag. Like I said, it's a worry-free bag. I can carry anything that I want. It's a great travel bag. I love the fact that the patina is already there. I did treat her, so I don't have to worry about anything. And even if I hand treated the bag, I still wouldn't have to worry about uh, staining or watermarks or anything like that. So anyway, guys, that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions or would like to see anything else, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I have written down several, you know, requests um, and, and stuff. I have more that I need to go through and write down. But I am going to be, you know, trying to pop some videos out here and there. Maybe try to do two a week or so. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Um, if you made it to the end of the video without fast forwarding, um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.